Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I just want to say welcome to another Motherhood Mondays with Shan. Zuri is currently downstairs being babysat by her grandparent. And just look at the colour in my hair. We've got purple hair. There is so much fallout. It is a mess. But we've got purple hair. Now let's get straight into this hack video and give you all the hacks that you need. Hack number one is get that booty hole situation under control. So to do that, I've got three products. Top product is this bad boy, petroleum jelly or Vaseline, whatever you call it. This was recommended to me by the midwives when um, I've done my antenatal class or prenatal class, whatever that word is. Um, when I done that class before I gave birth and they said to use it for the meconium when you're in hospital to get it right off and I've just kept using it. It's a great barrier um, against the, you know, nappy situation. Things that are in the nappies. It's a great barrier and it protects baby. Um, and because they poop so much and it's out of control in the beginning, I had this bad boy which is just the you can see that, just the Aveeno cream um, I had that just in case there's a bit of little bit of soreness so this is the daily use this is a if she's red and sore and this last product is for if it gets really really bad so you've only had to use this a few times and you just put a little bit on until it goes away and then you stop using it this is way too strong for you to keep using it but I did pick this up as a hack when I was at work and then Avena I just knew that I loved from work as well um, so those three hack number two is lights 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 so when I first left hospital I had to sort out my light situation so I didn't really have it on my list at first the light that you have for your baby room um, but when you're in hospital and you're on the recovery ward they dim the lights at a certain time and they have very subtle backlights so Zuri was used to sleeping under that so then when I came home this big old light in my room was just a blind in her and as a newborn she hated it she hated the light in her face so I had like a night lamp that I had on most of the night and I barely turned on my room light but that was a yellow light based one and then the bulb blew and guess what I started YouTube so my light situation was my ring light yes a ring light now that sounds ratchet as hell but a ring light is a good bonus to have because it naturally has a gauge on it so you have the white light um, you have a in between and then you have a yellow light and like all three lights are really good and then you can gauge it up and down as you're ready so I use my ring light at night time as a night light hack number <laughs> these bad boys yes these are my muslin cough situation now I have this is not even all my muslin cloths but I have a lot of them I just took these out of my drawer to show you now muslin cloths are a lifesaver you can literally put them on anything so when I first came out of hospital, I didn't have bed sheets for my cot because I didn't even have a cot yet. I just used a, a, two of them, put them over the mattress, covered it with another blanket just to make it a bit cushy because baby mattresses be hella hard in tribal cots. And bada boom. You can use them as a receiver for anyone else holding your baby. You can use them as a bib, like to wipe off, sit up, sick up, um... You can use them in when you're breastfeeding. You can use them as a teaver and for comforters. And they are Jamaican nappy material, so you can use them for a nappy. I am going to insert a clip. That's the bomb. That's the bomb. That's the front bit. So falling this is making it tick. Making that really thick. 
Then you fold that and that. Then you put the child bomb there and you put on the pin and then you pin. Junkie. I think I would have done that. I'm just baby not a lot and I don't need to be on. <laughs> the real stimulate. I still don't fit. Four is your baby blankets. So you need to have a quite few <laughs> So you need to have quite a few baby blankets. I have a whole drawer that's dedicated to blankets and towels for Zuri. I did get a few from the Cuddle Company. Here's a picture of her with one of them. And I got some from Mark and Spencer's. Another bitch there. And I got some from a couple of other places and gifts and handmade ones. And oh, baby blankets are a lifesaver. You put them in your cot you put them on the bed at night you put them when you're traveling outside you know blankets the reason why that's on the hack list is if you've got a personalized ones they're great for baby's first photos and they're great for photos in general number five is toys 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 now even though i just said that that's not the situation Stay in control of your toys. If you have too many toys, you're going to overstimulate your baby. She's not going to use them properly. So I got a few toys to start off with. I started off with about two, three. My mum got me two from the pound shop. Yes, the pound shop. And then I got one as a gift from work. And then I got quite a few more. Like, no, no, no. And then the baby gym. So the baby gym is the best toy you can have. Now, the reason why the baby gym is the best toy you can have is because of this bad boy. Most of them have links on them. So this book is another baby toy that you might need. Baby toy hack, black and white books. Education is the key. But most of them have links on them. And you can take them off and put them on every other thing that you have. So it's great. Move your toys around. I went to the park the other day. I had some on a link as well. Um, and took them with me. Put them on the push chair. So make sure your toys have these. So that's just the one that was with the baby gym. And then these that just actually came with that toy. So those type of toys, detachable toys. Also on that baby toys list is um, toys like this bad boy. So... I love this. I got it from a mother care which is no longer with us before Zuri was even conceived. But toys like this is kind of like the baby gym as well. They've got so many different sensory cognitive bits that can entertain your baby for a very long time. So kind of make sure your toys are like that, educational and lost. Baby hack number six. Ooh is this bad boy now i've shown this to you a few times already and i've talked about it on my social media um, it's just some liquid soap by dr bronner's liquid soap it's really good as a new mom you can wash anything with this like obviously this is not the baby one there is a baby one but i haven't tried it but you can use this just as a pre-wash so wash out that baby poo, wash out that blood, wash out what you need to wash out and then push them in the washing machine with your normal detergent but this is just like instead of bleach like you could bleach things but bleach, bleach is quite baby harsh hack so. number seven save your money now there's things out there like shushes and um, sound machines and whatnot. save your money your tablet and your phone is good enough so what I done is I like gospel music so I found some gospel music instrumentals on YouTube I created a little folder for Zuri that I can go back into them and find them and I play that for her when in the beginning and now anytime I want to come her, and that does the treat now if you want a shushing sound use your mouth your mouth goes shh it might be a bit tiring but you know it works just as good save your money 
And also on that list of songs that Zuri has on my tablet are Bob Marley mix and a few other like Disney mix, other stuff like that. Just whatever music you like. The instrumental is good. It will soothe them. It will work. Number eight is a travel cup. Now I say this is a baby hack, but <laughs> Zuri hasn't been using it. Like I got my mine because in the beginning it was like oh you can't coast sleep don't coast sleep don't coast sleep your baby is dangerous blah 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 well boom i co sleep um i bought the sleepy head for her and that was a disaster the sleepy head is just like the uh, what is that thing the bassinet that came with her came with her push chair. I had that in the beginning because I didn't have a cot so I put in the bassinet. That was tough. She didn't like it compared to the hospital bed. Then I had tried to put her on the sleepy head. That didn't work because it's similar texture. Bored. Hard. And I put her in the travel cot. She liked it for the first couple of weeks and then my mum got her into this bad habit of sleeping on people and then she went to my bed and she's been in my bed since. So, um, just to safely sleep with her, I don't have any bed sheets on my bed, like my house is normally warm enough, and so there's no big, big sheets to go over her head, I'm on top of my duvet even though it's on my bed, um, if I do use a blanket, I keep the major part of it behind me and cover her with her own blanket, um, and those are just tips for how to safely sleep with her in the bed. But another tip, mm, how I sleep in the bed. I don't normally sleep in my normal bed position unless I'm really tired and want to stretch out that night. But I sleep like across the bed with her. So, you know, she's here and I'm like there with her. And then my legs kind of go around like that. Like, you know what? Baby hack number nine. <laughs> something in your room that smells nice you need scents like so i have zuri's bin and i try to empty it as much as possible but that thing is deadly toxic most of the time so i had a wall freshener that i think has run out and it's in a place where i can't really get it back just the airwick or ambi pure one but also wax melts candles use them they're really good so I've just got these wax melts from a small business owner that I know and I've got some big candles, just any candle that I can grab anywhere in my home room. Number 10. Now if you're a UK mum, I'm going to say this, there is no shame in claiming those benefits. Claim them. Claim what you're entitled to. If you're a mum like me that's been working hard beforehand, claim them. Because they are a lifesaver. Especially when you've got... I'm not going to say that. Especially when you're a single parent. Like, you need them benefits to help you. So, um, because of COVID, um, things were a bit delayed. But in the end, I got the back payment. And I think there's a deadline on each of them that you need to do. So I think one was like three months and one was... I think they're both around the three months mark, child benefit and um, child tax credit or universal credit, whatever it is. But I got a back payment on both of them and that was handy. I saved some in, in, in my sa I sa <laughs> I saved some in my savings account, put it aside for rain day and Zuri. Alright, so this next hack is ratchet as hell. It is ratchet. But it is hospital knickers. So, I just opened up a pack of disposable underwear that I bought offline. And I bought these offline. I doubt you can see them properly. But I bought these little shits offline. And they were terrible. I was in that hospital ward that day and I tried to put them on. They would not fit. Now, I bought them size small and I didn't try them on beforehand. So, I technically didn't have any knickers. Even though I prepared and I thought I had knickers, I didn't have knickers. <laughs> don't buy this crap. I'll put the link below so you don't buy them. But, <laughs> lifesavers to the rescue were the horror of, 
hospital knickers. I'm gonna say horrible hospital knickers because they look quite horrible. But they were my best friends and I kind of wore them postpartum for a long time after. They're amazing and comfortable. And I bought a fresh pack of knickers and where they cut off on your that area, like making the hand gestures and you can't see. But where they cut off was like right on the scar, like normal standard knickers, and I was like mm, horrible. So even after in postpartum, these were amazing. And that's what the hospital knickers look like. Look at all that stretch and stretch and stretch. Oh, comfy. Why do I still have them? Because they wash in the washing machine, they're like that material. And I use my Dr. Brown soap to get out any stains or anything like that. And they are still here. No, I don't still wear them, but I just have them for this video. And the second part of that hack is ratchet as hell, <laughs> ratchet as hell, ratchet as hell. My mum's idea, by the way, was to take one of those said knickers and catch them up like this. <laughs> and I like you to guess what I use this for. To wash my face? No. This I use as a washcloth for the baby, for a newborn. So my mum's idea, she's like, oh, that material looks similar to washcloths and muslins and whatnot. So she's like, yeah, use it to wash the baby. And we have been using them ever since. We wash them in the washing machine, just like any other washcloth, and use them again. Because we cut them up, we have loads. You're welcome. Go with that is the next hack. Num number 12 these numbers might be messed up as hell but just ignore them if i'm not saying them right but number 12 is aqueous cream so now the doctors advise you when you come out of hospital and your first bathing baby is not to use anything on their skin and us caribbean people didn't listen to that we're like mm, we'll leave that to the rest of the world but um Maybe we messed up there because Zuri had really sensitive skin. We were using the Aveeno and I don't know what happened. She was doing so good in the beginning. The Aveeno was fine, absolutely fine. And then all of a sudden, I think it's allergy related, her skin broke out. And it was just like her face here, her face there. I might insert a picture. It might be a bit gross, but I might insert a picture. And like the back of her neck and spots on her hands, a few bits here and there. And nothing was calm. She looked red raw, red raw. And so to treat that, we got the aqueous cream. And the thing about aqueous cream now is there's a guy, new guideline that says that you're not supposed to just apply it to the skin. So you have to use it as an annulment in the bath. So we put a dob of that into the little washcloth like open the washcloth put a dob of that I have Aquamax as well which is like the um, prescribed one from the doctors um, you put it in the washcloth like put that inside in the warm water you might get another double up washcloth and you like kind of like gently gently so you don't end up with bits in your bath squeeze 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 until your water is just like cloudy and aqueousy and you soak them and then you put a little bit more in there again to like wash the skin Boom. another skincare hack which is number I think 13 am I right <laughs> yes I'm right number 13 is olive oil now this is a smaller bottle just because of the pandemic and it's what we could catch at the time but you know just Oil your baby up with this bad boy, grease them, make them look like, <laughs> I guess I cook chicken, but greasy chicken, whatever. <laughs> it's good for her skin, it's all natural, you know, nothing can go wrong with that. And I'm like, I was confident when I was using this that this was not what was irritating her skin. If I was just using other lotion, I'd never know. I know that some other people use shea butter as well, which is just good, and coconut oil, but this is our oil of choice olive oil hack number 14 I can't do 14 on my hands what's wrong? Oh, hack number 14 in my little um, healthcare kit thing for the baby but hack number 14 is I know I'm going to slate this and say it wrong is 
gauze, gauze, one of them do. My mum says it one way, my sister says the other, and by the end of the day I'm confused. But it's this bad boy, so now this is what we use to clean baby's tongue. So I had to Google it and and find like a safe option. So this was the gauze that I found. My mum said you could all, I could have also used the carp knickers once they were clean and sterilised and used that. But this is like completely sterile, so that's why I went and bought it. Whereas the knickers wouldn't have been. So I bought these um, just to clean her tongue. I, you can use warm water in a cup and just dip it in um, boiled kale, warmed water. Or you can drop a few droplets of di so a few droplets of diluted glycerin in that same cup in the water and clean her tongue with that as well. Now the glycerin is optional. Um, it's up to you because we didn't feel 100% safe using it all the time. But it is a Caribbean hack. Mm -hmm. Hack number 15 is sterilizing capsules. Put that in everything. Get some, get the liquid, the 50 minutes um, in cold water with this and you're fine. And it clings to sterilise things. So. 16 is organic. Start organic. It gives you so much peace of mind. They are super expensive. Um, so and in a pandemic they would have been harder to find. But start organic, start organic nappies and just use your wipes of choice or just use water and cotton start simple and then build in and experiment with what works hack number 17 as you will see in all my videos on my beds uh, Primark bed sheets now before you have your baby go to Primark pick out well, I picked out two because of finances and I wish I had more and then I couldn't get more because of the pandemic but pick out at least three different bed sheet sets, wash them, leave them in a drawer and wait until you come back from the hospital or get someone to do it for you if you had a c-section like me or if you could do it yourself, do it yourself then put them on the bed and they're fresh for baby and just use those sheets like I think having a new baby is the perfect time to buy new bed sheets and get rid of old bed sheets burn them burn them classes and them sin and them immorality with them sheets and start afresh hack number 18 i think the next hack oh i don't even know where i am but the next hack is if you're a youtuber like me or you want to start youtube as a mummy just do it start and start with free apps. Free apps are amazing to use. That way if you don't stick to it, you've not just paid for something you're not going to use again. Build up your page a bit, have a few videos, then update and upgrade. Hack number 19, as a new mum, you are going to be drowning in laundry. So this hack is have a clean clothes hamper or a clean clothes basket because you cannot fold and put away clothes quick enough as you need to wash them the minute you wash them in one day baby could go through three outfits you got poop puke dribble food everything like they can go through so many outfits in a day four five all of them the whole drawer whatever but just have a basket and hamper for clean clothes for that in between time until you can fold and put them away obviously don't just leave them in there and the last hack I have is bras or to be specific sports bras sports bras are your best friend so I bought the bra that I'm wearing now from Mark and Spencer's and it's alright because it's like the non-wired bra those are good as well um, now you have a few options, so I bought four pairs of maternity bras. So I have two with the clip things there, and then I have two M Mandela, Mandela, whatever, ones where you just, the sleep ones where you just like pull the wrap to the side and pull out your boobs. Now the wrap to the side ones, amazing, you need them. And especially if you have smaller boobs, they're okay. 
I have slightly bigger boobs and they went even bigger with breastfeeding so I'm not too comfortable about the support that they give but they are amazing the ones with the clips mm, they're irritating as hell I don't know why someone thought they were easy I'm I don't know if it's just me and I'm awkward but I would say like like open 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 not opening those things get on my nerves and the third option is your sports bra now any type of high support but slightly loose sports bras amazing either way you can still pull the boob up or down depending on how it's made and that's why you always see me in a sports bra and never a shirt because they're just irritating and I'm in the house and those are all my hacks <sighs> that was tiring I feel like I went 100 miles an hour and I have to tidy up back in my room <laughs> send help but bye guys and thank you for watching this video make sure you like comment below what hacks that you have so you can help another mother comment below which one of my hacks you think were ratchet or useful or you know if you already knew them just comment below in it comment below I will always respond I'm here for you any questions and I might do another updated hack video later on if I discover some more Make sure you are subscribed. So the beauty of the baby gym is so important. Like it has detachable toys that you can take on and off. And so did my little baby rocker. So I have two baby gyms. One that was gifted that you see in the pictures. And then one that I bought. Both of them are amazing. And I have detachable toys that I can take off them and put everywhere. But when I was picking my um, baby gym that I bought. It was really important to me that it was not too bright in colours. Now I sacrificed the soft cushion that I have in my second baby gym. For the black and white um, high contrast thing which I thought was really important for a newborn baby so um, high contrast means it just helps with the visuals on your eyes a black and white or red or certain colours so when I picked my one I liked the colours it had musical lights on it, it had balls that moved and it had different toys and it would age up with her now this one that I was gifted won't really age up with her but my one will 